Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the operation could not be completed printer error with the uh, zero dash all these zero seven seven. The system does not support the command request error. So this uh, video is kind of like a last ditch effort. So obviously you should try the other things you could find online for um, uninstalling the printer, reinstalling it, uh, updating the driver, um, make sure you got the spooler service started and all that other good stuff. So if none of that fixes it. You could try this, but I'm going to tell you right now, um, the chances of it working are kind of probably a 50-50 shot. So it's been successful sometimes, and other times it does nothing. And since there is a registry edit involved, make sure you back up your registry or do like a system uh, restore image before you uh, do this, just to make sure you don't make things worse. So I'm just warning you right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to follow along here. So if you know how to follow along with the, uh, or edit the registry, then this should be pretty simple. So we're going to do a, a reg edit from the search button here. Okay, so now we need to go to this key here, which you could just copy and paste from the description. And then what you want to do from there is find the Windows folder and you want to right click on it and select permissions, then make sure the administrator account and your account have full control. So right click permissions. So administrator account has full control and you can see this user account is not in here so I'm going to add it. Okay, give it full control. Okay, and then finally if you have a uh, values for legacy default printer mode and users select, select a default you could delete them which we don't have here. So as you can see, move it over here. No legacy default printer mode and or user select a default mode. So I've seen these more on Windows 10 than Windows 11. So this is Windows 11. So you might not have that depending on a, which version of Windows you're running. But if you do have them and if you're running Windows 10, you could find these and delete them. And then just uh, reboot your computer and try it again and see what happens. But like I said, it's just one of those things that may or may not work. And I can have a feeling it probably won't work more than it will work, but it's worth a shot. And like I said, just make sure you back up your stuff first in case anything gets funky after that and see what happens. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.